comedies, leaving the romance out of it. You know, it's they're they're few and far between in a movie theater. And even this past summer, comedies had a really hard time. Now, one person who is saying, you know, this it's not a big deal. This is just like a dry period. But, you know, these movies will come back and all it takes is really one one big comedy to go into theaters, knock it out of the park, and now everyone's talking about comedies again, is the comedian himself, Judd Apatow. Uh, so he's, he, he was talking to Vulture, and uh, he had some interesting things to say. Uh, so let's, let's go to the bottom here. Uh, so he was basically being told like, Hey, uh, you know, comedies aren't doing well in theaters. Why do you think that is? And he was like, actually Barbie is a comedy when you think about it. So, you know, it did pretty well. It made a lot of money. Uh, but you know, talking about like the more traditional comedies and why they're struggling. Here's what he had to say. I assume it'll swing back. Apatow added about comedy films returning to movie theaters in bulk. The industry does follow the leader for comedy. It just requires another hit or two. If a movie like The Hangover came out and it was a big hit, suddenly everyone would want five more of those. Here's the thing that most people don't understand because they're not in any of these executive suites. There's a hit and then they just go, oh, people like that? Make more like that. The thinking is not deeper than that. They will just chase anything that does well because people generally are averse to risk taking. So we've talked about this a few times with like superhero movies that it was in the best interest of Marvel for the DC movies to do well. And when the DC movies didn't do well, it actually probably hurt Marvel movies. (coughs) Now they had a lot going on and you know, some decisions that were made and storylines that were chosen to go after that might have had an effect on how well they've been doing at the box office lately. But also the fact that, you know, the competition wasn't doing too well either, just kind of soured people on superhero movies, or at least certain types. Now, what Judd Apatow is saying is a similar thing. It's like, hey, you know, like some of these comedies have been great. And so people haven't been going to the movie theater and watching him, but all it takes is one or two hits. And all of a sudden, you know, people want to go and see these comedies in a theater again. It needs something like The Hangover. And as I was reading this, I was like, you know what? That's, that sounds pretty smart to me. We're seeing it like right now with anyone but you. That movie did so well with such a low budget that they're going to put so many movies in theaters that are just like it and probably starring all of them will be starring Graham Powell and Sidney Sweeney. And like it's going to be a lot of those faces for a while, which some people are happy about. Um, But like that's we're seeing that. But what I'm looking at and going like, okay. If he's right, if Judd Apatow is right, and all we need is like one great comedy to come back, I think I know which one it's going to be. And that is coming from Dan Patrick, amongst other sources, um, the the actor uh, who played Shooter McGavin in Happy Gilmore actually was the person who got this thing going. But Dan Patrick talked about it yesterday on his show. They're making a Happy Gilmore 2. All right, so last week, actor Christopher McDonald, who played the villainous shooter McGavin in the original film, went on the 92.3 The Fan, The Fan, in Cleveland and reversed that Adam uh, revealed that Adam Sandler had shown him a rough draft of the script for the sequel. Legendary sportscaster. It's got to feel good when people put that kind of phrasing on your stuff legendary sportscaster dan patrick who's become a fixture in adam sandler's films and has appeared in more than 10 of them followed up on the scoop on on his uh eponymous show on monday what eponymous are you serious they decided to use that uh, a few days later, so this was him reading uh, some some text messages between uh, himself, Dan Patrick, and Adam Sandler. A few days, but I'll let you know when there's a script. Still figuring a lot out, Sandler responded to uh, Patrick. And so Patrick answered that he was just kidding, to which Sandler responded, you're in it, bro. You play you. So if, 
if Judd Apatow is right and all it takes is one comedy to get things rolling once again and getting people excited about going to the movie theater and watching a comedy, I don't know if you could do any better than Adam Sandler. This will be the test. This will be the test. So it'll probably come out in like two years, I'm assuming. Uh, comedies can go into production much faster uh, than pretty much any other movie, usually because they don't have quite as many explosions. And I'm assuming, you know, with Happy Gilmore, like uh, it's, I don't know how many explosions you're going to get in Happy Gilmore. So it looks like a pretty straightforward shoot. And as long as they have a good script and they're ready to go, it should be pretty quick. So we might be seeing this movie come into theaters in like two years. So for me, looking at Judd Apatow and being like, hey, if it's one hit, and like I said, I don't think he could do better. I don't think there's something out there with as much name recognition as you know adam sandler as happy gilmore it's one of his best hits like i think that this is the movie to test the theory is comedy dead at the movie theater i think that the one movie that could possibly save it and get things back on track and correct what i think is pretty clear that they just haven't been doing well you know and part of that again is like not funny movies like that dog movie where it's just like dogs cussing with Will Ferrell. Like, what, or really? Like, that's that's the best that we can do right now? Well, let's bring in a, a tried, uh, you know, commodity, something that has been tested and has been proven to be a comedic success, like Adam Sandler, like Happy Gilmore. And let's bring it in, and let's see if people will support a good comedy at the movie theater. Now... The movie could come out and it can be a complete crap fest and, uh, you know, it could be more like Grown Ups 2 than uh, uh, the original Happy Gilmore. And then we'll we'll never know because you got to still be good, even if it's like, a, you know, like a name that, that people know. It's still got to be a good movie for it to be a success at the box office. But I think this is the movie that's going to prove the theory. Hey, thanks for watching the whole video. If you like this, you might like these videos right over here and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. See ya.